uh, after I agreed to see the ghetto. I remember again, it was the uh, uh, socialist leader said, well, we told them, you could do more for us. We, could, we might arrange your visit to a death camp. It will be more dangerous than the visit to the Warsaw Ghetto. But we wouldn't expose you to a certain death. Uh, it might work. Would you go? Naturally, I will go. At that time, danger, uh, death, arrest, it was a way of life. Neither I, I nor uh, thousands of others workers in the underground thought about it. We were used to it. I didn't even think uh, of any thing of any danger. Now, they made an appointment with a guide. In Warsaw is the station, the railroad station. Again, some password, and he approached me with my liaison girl. I didn't like him. To me, he looked Jewish. I was afraid I was... Uh, I was almost offended. Uh, so I told... He already had tickets for the train. I told him, let us not sit in the same wagon. You sit in one and I sit in another. This for security. If you are arrested, I will report. If I am ar arrested, you will report. I was afraid to sit with him. <laughs> he looked Jewish. <laughs> we went to Lublin, I remember. In Lublin, we, we left the train uh, and went with some mm, carriage, like, walking several kilometers. to some shop, uh, uh, I remember, with uh, uh, some mechanical uh, uh, equipment. Over there already a uniform was prepared and the trousers and the boots of a Ukrainian uh, guard, guide. In the camps, the Germans never used Polish police. They were using either, uh, of course, Germans or Ukrainians, Latvians, those who uh, do not have contacts with the local population. The camps were, after all, a secret, and they wanted to keep it secret as much as possible. After a, a few moments, a man came in civilian clothes, speaking Polish, by the way, uh, 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 correctly, and he told me, I was told that you want to see the camp. I will show you the camp. Don't speak to anybody. Follow me. I would settle everything. I will give you the sign when we leave the camp. You don't know Polish. See, we like Polish, we will point out at me if anybody asks you something. I followed him. Evidently, he was known. Because when we approached one of the back entrances, he showed some document, and the German guard, this gesture, entered. We entered the camp. I saw there 1,000, 2,000. Again, not humans. Old, young, rabbis, children, again, odor. They, some were standing, some were lying. And to the right, there was sort of a gate to that camp, and then the trains, alongside the trains. The Jews were taken out of the camp. The Germans uh, shooting, some uh, to, to frighten them, some in the uh, mob. 
the train, there was not enough room, so they were pushing the Jews. Some children, the mother did not want to give the child, the man would take the child by force, putting this over the head, you know, like, like a piece of meat, those in the wagon. Terrible, terrible things I saw.